Okay, we're about to hit the January transfer window. And Florentino Perez, the Real Madrid board, have made a managerial decision here. Carlo Ancelotti has been sacked. He is no longer the manager of this Real Madrid squad. Just after spending money on Holland and Akimi, we've been too inconsistent. The board want change. And uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a familiar face. Very familiar. So drop a like if you guys are joining the series. Hit that sub button down below. Also, if you have not, January transfer window and also changes are coming. All right, so into January we go. So Lobotka, Santos, and Vasquez is all gone and that takes us from about 13 million all the way up to 70 million now we could do some damage with that amount of money but the board was not going to put that into Ancelotti's hands he was very good in season one led us to the league title and also the Copa del Rey but just to take this team further change was needed and it is familiar change because Real Madrid have hired Zinedine Zidane once again the man is signing a six-month contract here at Real Madrid so on contract he's just here for the rest of this season he has done it before he's left Real Madrid come back and then led this team to greatness he's got a different squad this time around but out of all our options the board thinks he is the most qualified to handle this job and uh, we have a new manager and his first task is to target signings in this january transfer window now the most shocking thing about this is that somehow zidane has grown his hair back at least some of it he has left pep guardiola over in a uh, bald club he's left them all alone and he's now here to lead this team to greatness a mid-season managerial change is a big risk but we're gonna hope it works out so zidane thinks the 352 could work with this team under his leadership but he also wants to try his trusty 433 it's what he's used uh, previously managing Real Madrid now the weird thing about this is Ronaldo becomes a left winger for the first time in, in probably what maybe like four or five years but Zidane wants to see it you guys want to see in the comments too I see the comments so we're gonna try this it's very similar it's the same players but it's more traditional 433 so we're gonna tell Ronaldo to stay forward cut inside and get him behind I mean like I said the man hasn't played on the wing in so long we're gonna see if that works and see if the changes Zidane implements are are actually gonna work so first game of Zidane's managerial uh career I guess for the third time right they just can't stay away from each other but facing Valladolid at home Ronaldo left wing Holland striker Vinicius right wing which is a little bit weird but it's the only way this works uh we'll see how Real Madrid and Zidane do in his uh first game back again now if this doesn't work Zidane is open to the 3-5-2 he just wants to see the 4-3-3 it's his trusty formation so Valladolid a test for them and La Liga is the main reason why Ancelotti got fired so let's see if Zidane get a first win in his first game in La Liga hey, Ronaldo into Holland already already still combining although they are not playing side to side he almost just scored too Vinicius over to Holland over the top to Benzema Ronaldo he doesn't matter where he is it doesn't matter where he is whoa Ronaldo once again you score these 10 times out of 10 how do you miss that I mean at least you created the chance that's a positive note to take so in reality we are playing a 4-3-3 but we're also playing uh Ronaldo and Holland uh staying forward up top so they're almost like two strikers so it's not insanely different. Oh my, that's just so bad defending. I can't track anything right there. Finish she is over to Holland. Okay, I should have played it to Benzema. That's a little bit overpassing right there. Now back to a back four. I like the back three, but if the team plays better, I don't mind. Holland, Holland, through to Ronaldo. That's not going to quite work. You see the formation though. I see the style. Ronaldo is not like a, he's definitely like a second striker more than a winger. Good ball. Good ball, but Alaba makes the tackle. Benzema. Oh, what a head to Ronaldo. Beautiful. Ronaldo. Okay, where did Holland go to? Ronaldo. Oh, what a challenge. That should have been a goal right there. Oh, no. Ronaldo is hurt. Ronaldo is hurt. That guy can't get the ball because Ronaldo is hurt. I don't want to see that. Ronaldo is down with an injury. I'm mad. Chumini, good tackle. Okay, Ronaldo is getting up, but he's getting up very slowly. And they have a chance to score. But Rudiger, man, that is a very hard tackle. Valverde, great ball to Holland. Holland. Oh, that touch is beautiful. Holland finesse shot. Oh, again, it's the post. That's two times hit the post. What do we got to do to score? That's a good tackle. I think Ronaldo is still hurt too, by the way. All right, first half. I hope Ronaldo is okay. I feel like he's not, but we're playing decent. Just no goal to show for it yet. Ronaldo is still hurt. I'm going to see if he runs it off though. I'm just going to see. I am very worried though. Player at his age, injuries are very... Whoa, what is that? Okay, that just allowed the space. What is happening? They actually scored off that. They ran into each other and the guy with the ball just said, okay, thanks. And he just ran through Kennedy and he scores. Oh my, I can't believe that. That is so clumsy. Is that on Zidane? Is that Ancelotti? Who is that? I'm not sure. That might be just our players. Ronaldo, he's still hurt. We got to take him off, I think. He is still hurt, although he has a chance to score. Ronaldo, chance to score. Even though he's injured, the man is in pain and he almost just scored. Vinicius, two. Benzema, Benzema shot. Oh man, we got to score these chances. Vinicius, two. Valverde. Oh, Holland, good turn. Through to, oh, beautiful, beautiful. That's got to be a... T oh, that's just a beautiful move right there. Valverde scores, but that whole move, that passing was scrumptious. I am incredibly sad, though, because Ronaldo...
Man, we gotta take him off. I hope he's not hurt bad. Uh, Nico Williams is back from his injury, so why not get his return to the team here? Left wing. Ronaldo, I hope and pray that you're okay. Now we have a traditional left winger, though. We'll see how this uh, works out. We should be beating this team by a lot more. Let's we'll see if we can actually do it. I mean, Zidane is here to infuse. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. All right, Mendy. Oh, man, that's a good ball. That's a good ball. Rudiger, that is a goal-saving, like, block, that is. We don't look that different under Zidane, to be honest. We don't look that different. Although, Benzema through to Holland. That could change very quickly because Holland... Look how quick he is. It's nuts, Holland. You're scoring that. There's no way you're not. Man, okay, things could change pretty fast. We got Erling Holland on a breakaway. All of a sudden, 2-1. If Ronaldo is hurt, Holland has got to take over right now. Simple goal, but also 2-1 scoreline now. Nico Williams to Benzema. Benzema, flip it to Erling. Erling, again, another one-on-one. -on -one. I was just trying to control the ball. I should have took it sooner. I thought if he shot that, whoa, what a bad pass. Too many. Too many. Gets it to Holland. Holland. Oh, that's not Holland. That's actually Benzema. Then Vinicius misses. But, okay, what is happening here? I am so confused on what I'm seeing. Benzema to Valverde. Valverde, awkward angle. Still a good shot, though. Game is still only 2-1. They could score here and make this an absolute game. He's on side. They are going to tie this game at 2-2. Bro, both of their goals have been just highly questionable in a lot of ways. Like, oh, it just bounces right back to him. How unfortunate is that? We got six minutes to now score another goal. Vinicius, Holland, Benzema. Now Benzema got to find Holland again. Benzema, Benzema. Oh, he finds Holland. What a pass. He can't take it down and shoot quick enough, though. Again, he takes too much time to shoot. Holland, Benzema, two. Nico Williams back from his injury. Nico Williams shoots. Oh, and Nico Williams has scored the winner. He's been out for three months. That broken toe is healed because he just scored the winner in this game. Okay, Zidane's first game is not going to be a huge disappointment. Still shakiness, but we're going to win at least. Oh, man, Nico Williams, what a big goal for his return. Like, that's a that's a very good strike from that spot. Beautiful. Welcome back, and also welcome Zidane. Also back to Real Madrid. And that's going to be a 3-2 win. Now, I just hope Ronaldo is not out for long, but the Zidane era for, I believe the third time right the third time it has begun with a win and he is obviously very happy with uh, that hair kind of back okay it seems like ronaldo is actually uh he is not hurt so i guess after the game it showed that mr noodle man is okay so we avoid a disaster injury so that makes that solid a win you know zidane's first game it's a win now can we build on that okay luka modric is contract expiring and the man is currently what he's going down overall very quickly he's 38 years old and he's been approached by ajax i don't think we're gonna assign him i think i'm gonna let him go to ajax for a potential season three if we do that so he's with us for the rest of the season but next season he will not be now 70 million Zidane doesn't have that much money but he does have one target we want to sign Zidane's first target is Enzo Fernandez from Benfica I mean World Cup winner insanely well-rounded stats he might be like a Luka Modric replacement right now maybe a, a signing to replace him next season the issue is this is cutting it very close to what we can actually afford oh man what if we just swapped him with Luka Modric right now would that be bad if we did that because I mean Luka he hasn't played that great this season he's definitely dropping pretty quickly we'll try money first but if it doesn't work I might add Luka Modric to the deal. Uh, let's try 65 million euros. Man, we wouldn't have enough for the budget, I don't think, or the wage. Um, we're going to have Marvin to the deal to make it sweeter, but not that much sweeter. Um, let's start 63 million. Let's see what they say to that. They're probably going to want a lot more, but let's see what Benfica say to that. They are going to want 48 million plus Benzema. That is not happening. We might have to include Luka Modric. 58. Let's say 58 plus uh, maybe like 36.5 that'd be close to i think what they want let's see if they accept that they are going to they're going to accept that oh man do we just do we get actually value out of Modric and just do that now i mean enzo is a great player and i feel like by the end of the season uh enzo might be a higher rating than Modric. i mean Modric is gonna be an 83 in uh in maybe a, like a month and a half at least actually at most oh man i love luka Modric, but i think we might do this i think uh zidane is trying to switch things up in this team so enzo fernandez i mean maybe it's uh Modric wants to leave maybe he wants to go to ajax a team that's uh, a league that's more you know it's not la liga it's not the prem it is controversial but i think we're doing it i feel like Modric is gonna retire maybe this season anyways this is what we get we get some value out of Modric, and i feel like enzo he would help us this season more than Modric. so enzo fernandez is signed up the first signing of zidane's reign here at Madrid his set is actually third reign I keep forgetting because he's he's been manager so many times but Enzo Fernandez just won the World Cup with Argentina now he gets his big money move to Real Madrid I think that's gonna be a solid solid pickup I am so sad about Luka Modric but it's just something that needed to happen unfortunately so Enzo will get number number 14 and also his debut here pretty shortly so we got Letico Madrid in the Supercopa but honestly I'm not worried about the Supercopa this season at all uh 4-3-3 three, three against Letico Madrid Zidane game number two is gonna be a 3-1 win Ronaldo scores twice a brace from 
left wing. Uh, very interesting. Okay, since now we have a chance for a trophy, the Supercopa final, we got it. We got to play it. It's a good chance for Enzo Fernandez to get his debut. So he is in for uh, in for Valverde. Let's start Endrick for Vinicius. Let's do uh, Nico Williams. Let's get uh, Kamalo on the bench. And we'll go with that. So Enzo, Endrick in there, Nico Williams. And also a chance to win, of course, a trophy. So literally what? Game number three is a chance for Zidane to win a minor trophy. It's not bad. Come on, we need to see some like convincing performances again. Where are they at? Zidane is supposed to inject energy into this team. We need to see it. He's gone with the youth in this game. We'll see if it pans out. Endrick around two. Endrick from distance. Power shot. It's just going to be blocked. They don't let me take power shots. I wish they did. I would, I would bribe them. Okay, Courtois has that. What a bad cross. Now instead, they're in. And whoa, Rudiger. I love that challenge. Enzo to Holland. Enzo is continuing his run all the way out. Okay, too far for Endrick though. Holland, get your get your head in the game. Okay, they are coming here pretty quick. Mallorca. Now, if I remember right, we faced Mallorca in the uh, in the Copa del Rey final. That's probably why we're facing him here. Oh man, if they scored that, I would have left the game. I would have exited the stadium. Oh man, shot Courtois. Forced to make a solid save. Oh man, oh man, oh man. We can't let this happen, please. Come on, steal the ball, please. Get back in position. It's my fault. I blame myself. Endrick can't make a good tackle there. Enzo Fernandez can't get the block in. Courtois saves it though. Hey, Mallorca, what are you guys? What are you guys doing? All right, Enzo Fernandez, what do you got? We just gave up Luka Modric for you. You better be good. Enzo, Enzo, Enzo. Okay, that was a tough one. Oh man, they're going to score. Nope. Courtois makes a save. Mallorca have been the better team here. Like, what's happening? The Don is about to lose all his hair again because he's going to get very mad. Oh, what a good move. What a good move. Courtois though is saving us right now. Oh man, come on, boys. Come on, boys. Don't let them score. Okay, I thought I blocked that, per but Courtois, another great save. He is in Champions League final form. Nico Williams, good clearance. Still not over, though. Alaba, good tackle, and Endrick. We do finally get this ball out. Okay, second half begins. The game is still no-no. I, I would say Mallorca have been the better team. That is very troubling right now. Enzo, up to Holland. Holland, get it back to Benzema. Benzema, Enzo's got space to shoot. Oh, Enzo Fernandez. That had some uh, a little bit of flair to it. Oh, man, great ball. Alaba is tracking. Okay, please... Hakimi, I need you. All goes back. They're going to score. Nope. Courtois is finally guarding his near post. Williams, get the ball out. Chumini, clearance. Get the ball out again. Okay, that's three really good clearances. People are just putting their bodies on the line. Now, Chumini, Chumini. Oh, that's timed to absolute perfection. Holland, that first touch let you down so bad. That should be a goal. How is his first touch that bad? Benzema, he's, he's going to be offside. There's no reality in which that should be acceptable to not score that. Guess out of Benzema. Benzema finesse shot. Keeper saves it. So Enzo, this man is a workhorse. He does a lot like, he's going like Valverde. Man is just everywhere in the field. Nico. Okay, Holland. Okay, Holland, you got to score this. You're quicker than him. You're quicker. And finally, that's so easy. See, if he slows down, he's under control. Holland is so good. But a few times, his touches have been a bit heavy. It's an ugly one-on-one -on -one goal. Just pure speed. And it's also 1-0, though. Game's got 20 minutes. We finally make the breakthrough. Still, I don't think we've been the better team. That's the sad part. But it won't matter if we get a win. Nico Williams up to Holland. Get it to Benzema. Benzema to Enzo. Enzo. Oh, we got to get that to Holland. That was such a clean move. Hendrick to Akimi. Akimi. I mean, that's an ambitious ball. Holland's not going to get that. He actually put a lot of pressure, though. Jumini into Enzo Fernandez. Enzo, right foot. I want him to score on his debut. He sets up so well. The shots don't look that bad. Whoa, that's a bad throw out by the keeper. Nico Williams. Oh, that chest touch was abominable. Is that even a word? Did I just make up a word? I feel like I did. They got one minute and they got one attack. Vardial, good defending though. That might, be, that might be enough, although it's still kind of embarrassing. We got an Avengers team. This should be more simple than that. Okay, Holland. How did that work out? Whoa, that burst of speed. There it is. Okay, right there is what I need to see from Holland. I didn't even do any of that. That was all Erling Holland. I take no credit for what was just happened on screen. 2-0, and we win the Supercopa, although still, it's it's not as straightforward as it should be. All right, subs on. Let's lift this little minor trophy. That is full-time, 2-0. Enzo Fernandez, first game for Real Madrid. He wins a trophy, not bad. All right, Karim Benzema is going to lift the first trophy of the season, right? I hope it's not the, not the only one, but things are looking shaky. Zidane... He hasn't quite got his uh, his message across yet. Hasn't fully implemented his tactics enough. There's a lot of potential, though. There's potential. Okay, next game is going to be Asasuna. So each game, we are in danger of falling further out of first. Seven points currently. We just got to catch Sevilla. I don't trust the Sim enough. So we're going to play this. One final test for the 4-3-3 Ronaldo at left wing. Full strength. I want to see like a, a convincing performance here. I mean, if Ronaldo, if he can't play left wing, then we got to switch back to 3-5-2. Zidane doesn't want to do it, though. So he wants this to work. Let's see it actually work for real. Ronaldo to Benzema. Benzema lift it to Erling. Erling going for the volley. 
Oh, what a finish by Erling Holland. Okay, I mean, there's not much better technique you can get than that goal right there. That was just dirty. What a start to the game. Benzema lifts it and then Holland waits for it. And then, oh, it's like a leaning side foot into the corner beautiful shot okay good start to this game we're about to take our anger out on asasuna i'm sorry asasuna i am deeply sorry holland holland oh could get it to ronaldo whoa he just got shoved still wins it though i like the energy valverde too vinicius vinicius to benzema benzema gets to ronaldo that's two nil we are taking our anger out on asasuna and also a little bit a little bit of suey that is ronaldo left winger Scoring. Zidane is happy and almost bald. Oh man, there's some space here. Alba, please. They're gonna track it back. Good defense needs to be, it needs to be disciplined, but Courtois is just too good. They should have scored that. And do we need to address the defense? I feel like Rudiger and Alba are very good, just for some reason together. Are they not good enough for what we wanna do? Okay, Courtois, again, is amazing. Like, should Vardy all be starting? Should we sign a whole new center back? Should we sell one of them? We're still in the transfer window. I'm not sure. I just feel like the defense is a really big concern right now. And that is a good ball in. That's going to be a good tackle by Rudiger, though. See, they're good. It's just they're very inconsistent. Hey, Vinicius. The Holland, Holland. Playing Vinicius. Hasn't scored in a minute, but right wing, I feel like he could be dangerous. And the speed there is dangerous. 3-0. I wanted a performance like this, and so far, it's been like this. This meaning convincing. Ronaldo. Benzema through to Holland. Oh man, we are cutting them apart. Holland, Holland, take your time. Take your time. It's 4 0. 30 minutes, four goals. Holland brace. I don't know how many assists Benzema has. I feel like it's maybe three. I mean, you ask, you shall receive. Vinicius gives it to Holland. We got Akimi. Akimi. Oh, that first touch was so good. Akimi. Play to Benzema. Benzema, this should be five. Benzema hits the crossbar. I might cry. That would have been such a clean attack and finish. And ball defense still. Defense still. Alaba. Alaba. Finally a good slide tackle. That was really good. All in to Vinicius. Vinicius. Oh, what a ball to Erling. Erling. We get it to Ronaldo. What a ball to Ronaldo. Oh, that's disgusting attacking. That is just beautiful. Okay, Zidane is showing something in this game. His managerial tacticalness is showing, and we're playing some beautiful football. 5-0 first half against Asasuna, and it might get worse than this for them. Ronaldo, Benzema, Holland, Holland. Decent first touch. Work this thing around, though. Vinicius up to Ronaldo. Oh, gives it to Holland. Oh, I tried. I should have just shot. I, I was passing too much. I thought Benzema was making a good run for it to happen, but you can see the attacking is working. Not at left wing is doing the job right now. Also, Vinicius on the wing is doing good too. Vinicius into Ronaldo. Ronaldo in front of goal. Okay, it's 6-0. Ronaldo, that completes his hat trick too, by the way. Is this going to be Zidane's defining game in his early start of his Real Madrid third reign? Because this is this is quite good. Carlo Ancelotti is at home punching the air right now. Oh, I'm punching the air. Oh, I'm punching the air. Courtois saves me. How many times have I said that? He just saves me constantly. Benzema to Vinicius. Vinicius. Man, that passing is very lazy, boys. That is some lazy passing. All right, Alaba, Alaba, Alaba. Oh, man, that was perfectly timed. That was unfortunate. And thankfully, he's offside, though. All right, let's get some more Enzo Fernandez. His debut episode, why not? Played decent against uh, uh, Mallorca. Let's see what he does in this game. Ronaldo into Holland. Ronaldo, he got his hat trick. Is Holland get his, maybe? Nope, because he just got outpaced there. Oh, Benzema just got crunched. That's going to be a red. Get him off the field. Insult to injury, literally. Enzo to Benzema. In to Holland. Up to Benzema. Through to Enzo Fernandez. What is happening here? Man, Enzo, that was a weird run. Steals it though. Enzo Fernandez. Look at the engine on him. You would think his name is Frederico Valverde. Um, that shot was pretty bad. Benzema to Ronaldo. Oh, Ronaldo, that first touch was so bad. That was like a Holland touch right there. Come on, I want the clean sheet. Clean sheet. Oh, Courtois is showing out today. All right, Benzema is rinsed. So let's play uh, Rodrigo at cam. Uh, let's do Endrick on the right. And I think we will. Let's do also Cruz at center back. Come on, clean sheet, boys. We need the clean sheet for the full performance and we steal it. Rodrigo and Endrick, we know they are on the same wavelength. Endrick. Gets it over to Ronaldo. Holland to complete his hat trick. We got double hat tricks for, I believe, Holland and Ronaldo. 7 0. I mean, Zidane is showing, there's no fans here. Zidane is showing why he replaced Carlo Ancelotti. After a few games of 4 3 3, all of a sudden it's showing the players have clicked. 7 0. We beat Asasuna. Okay, you guys let me know what formation we should use the 4 3 3 or the 3 5 2. Now, Zidane would prefer the 4 3 3, but you guys let me know what you think because next episode we're in the Champions League run of 16, and the team we're facing, we're not going to reveal it yet. It'll be revealed in the next episode. But the team we're facing can actually win the Champions League. They've been close in a recent number of years. I'm talking about in the final. So round of 16 is going to be immediately from the start hectic. We're going to be fighting for our lives. But I think Zidane can really take this team forward. I mean, he's got it on his resume. He's done it before. So if you're enjoying the series, drop a
drop a like. I'd really appreciate it as always. Um, hit that sub button. We are chasing 200,000 subs as well. I will see you guys in the next video. As always, hope you have a great day.